This is video part two for the mystery crochet along shawl pattern. You will need 575 yards of number one fingering weight yarn, an H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. I have four number one fingering weight yarns to choose from, Be So Fine yarn, Be So Lush yarn, Be So Fine Silver Bling yarn, and the brand new Be So Fine Gold Bling yarn. You can download the Mystery Crochet Along Shawl pattern from my website, and you can also get more information on all of these beautiful yarns as well. In part one, we worked rows one through 11 of the shawl, and in part two, we're going to work rows 12 through 26. Now, you will work row 12 along the edge of row 11 from part one, and continue on working along the edge of the existing shawl that you began in part one. But I'm going to do a reduced size sample so that I can show you the stitch pattern and show you the stitches we'll be working. So I'm doing the reduced size sample that is also shown in the chart that corresponds with the written instructions. But keep in mind that this is a reduced size sample of row 11 from the piece that you're working on. So let's refer now to the chart and the written instructions to begin part two. Part two begins with row 12, and it starts with a chain three and a two double crochet cluster in that first stitch. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in this first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Our repeat for row 12 is chain two, skip two stitches and double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in that specified stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do it one more time, chain two, skip two stitches and double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way across to the last stitch. In the last stitch, we're going to work a three double crochet cluster. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the specified stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook three double crochet cluster. Row 13 begins with a chain three, turn our work, and work a two double crochet cluster in the first stitch, yarn over, insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that a second time. And yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook. In the next double crochet, we're going to work three double crochets. Our repeat for this row is to work three double crochets in each double crochet across, meaning we're only working in the double crochets and skipping the chain two spaces from the previous row. So in the next double crochet, work three double crochets. And then repeat that all the way across to the last stitch. And in the last stitch, We'll work a three double crochet cluster. Now this stitch from the beginning of the previous row was a chain three and two double crochet cluster. So when I say three double crochet cluster in the last stitch, I mean in the last cluster. The chain three counts as the beginning of the cluster. So it'll be yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the top of that last cluster stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Do that two more times. and yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. That's for the end of row 13. Row 14 begins with a chain three, and we'll turn our work and work a two double crochet cluster in that same first stitch. Chain two, and work a three double crochet, or double crochet three together over the next three double crochet. So yarn over your hook, Insert your hook in the next double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, insert your hook in the next double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the next double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through all four loops on your hook. That's a double crochet three together. Our repeat for this row is chain two and double crochet three together over the next three double crochets. So I'll show you one more time. Okay, so to try to keep on track for this row, make sure that you're working the three du double crochet three together over the three double crochets that were worked in the same stitch on the previous row. You're creating like a, we're creating a cluster. It reminds me of like a flower bud, not the flower blooms, but the actual bud. So we increased to the three double crochets and now we're decreasing it back down to create that bud shape. So our repeat is chain two, double crochet three together and repeat that across the row until you get to the last stitch. At the end of the last repeat, work three double crochet cluster in the last cluster stitch. Okay, that's row, a, re, a reduced size sample of row 14. Row 15 begins with chain three and turn, two double crochet cluster in the first cluster stitch. Then I repeat for row 15 is double crochet in the next double crochet three together stitch, chain three. And so we're going to repeat that across. It's double crochet in the next decrease stitch and chain three. And you want to repeat this all the way across to the last stitch. Three double crochet cluster in the last cluster stitch. Row 16 is chain three, turn our work, two double crochet cluster in the first cluster stitch. Then our repeat for this row is three double crochets in the next chain three space. And one double crochet in the next double crochet. I'll show you that one more time. Three double crochets in the next chain three space. And one double crochet in the next double crochet. And you want to repeat this all the way across to the last stitch. End of row 16, three double crochet cluster in the last cluster stitch. That's the end of row 16. Row 17 starts with a chain three. Turn your work. Two double crochet cluster in that first cluster stitch. One double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three. Skip the next three stitches and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three. Skip three stitches. Our repeat is double crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, skip the next three stitches. So you want to repeat that all the way across to the last stitch. At the end of the last repeat and you, the end of chain three and skip the last three double crochets, we'll work a three double crochet cluster in the last cluster stitch. That's the end of row 17. Row 18 begins with a chain three, turn, two double crochet cluster in that first cluster stitch, and the repeat for this row is four double crochets in each double crochet across, meaning we're going to be skipping all of the chain three spaces. So this is our first double crochet, we'll work four double crochets in that stitch. and then four double crochets in each double crochet across and work a three double crochet cluster in the last cluster stitch.
Okay, this is what the end of row 18 should look like. Row 19 begins with a chain three, turn two double crochet cluster in the first cluster stitch. Then we're going to work a double crochet four together over the next four double crochets. And we're going to be lining them up. So make sure that when you're working this decrease stitch, it's worked over the four stitches that were worked together in the previous row. So a double crochet four together is yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that three more times, once in each of the next three more double crochets. yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. Double crochet four together. Chain three, and then work double crochet four together over the next four double crochets again. Let's yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then repeat that for the next three stitches. Yarn over, pull through all five loops on your hook. Chain three. And our repeat for this row is double crochet four together, chain three. I'm going to repeat that all the way across to the last stitch, then work three double crochet cluster in the last cluster stitch. All right, this is what the end of row 19 should look like. Row 20 begins with a chain three, turn, two double crochet cluster in that first cluster stitch, chain four, and double crochet in the next our decrease stitch, which was a double crochet four together on the previous row. And our repeat for this row is chain four, and double crochet in the next double crochet four together. And you wanna repeat this all the way across to the last stitch, then work a three double crochet cluster in the last stitch. This is what your work should look like at the end of row 20. Row 21 begins with a chain three, turn, two double crochet cluster in that first cluster stitch, one double crochet in the next double crochet, four double crochets in the next chain four space, and our repeat for this row is double crochet in the next double crochet, and four double crochets in the next chain four space. And so you repeat that all the way across until you get to the last stitch and work three double crochet cluster in the last stitch. This is what the end of row 21 should look like. Row 22 begins with a chain three, turn, two double crochet cluster in the first cluster stitch. Our repeat for this row is chain four. Skip the next four double crochets and double crochet in the next double crochet. So to try to keep yourself on track for this row, what we're doing is when we do the chain four, we're skipping the four stitches that were worked in the chain four space on the previous row, and then we're double crocheting in the double crochet that was double crocheted in a double crochet on the previous row. So you're going to repeat chain four, skip four stitches and double crochet in the next, repeat that all the way across, then work a three double crochet cluster in the last cluster stitch. This is what your work should look like at the end of row 22. Row 23 begins with a chain three, turn, two double crochet cluster in the first stitch, then in the next double crochet work five double crochets. Skip the chain four space and in the next double crochet work five double crochets. And 
and our repeat for this row is to work five double crochets in each double crochet across and work a three double crochet cluster in the last cluster stitch. This is what your work should look like at the end of row 23. Row 24 begins with a chain three turn, two double crochet cluster in the first cluster stitch, chain four, double crochet five together over the next five double crochets. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two, repeat that in each of the next four stitches. yarn over, pull through all six loops on your hook. Let's double crochet five together. Chain four. Now repeat for this row is chain four and double crochet five together over the next five double crochets. And in order to stay on track for this row, make sure that you're working that double crochet five together over the same five double crochets that you worked all in the same stitch on the previous row. And we'll repeat this all the way across and work a three double crochet cluster in the last stitch. This is what the end of row 24 should look like. Row 25 begins with a chain three, turn, work a two double crochet cluster in that first stitch. Then double crochet in the next decrease stitch. The decrease on the previous row was double crochet five together. So you wanna work a double crochet in that stitch. Then it's chain five. And skip the next chain four space and work a double crochet in the next decrease stitch. Chain five and skip the next chain four space. So our repeat for this row is double crochet in the next double crochet five together stitch, chain five, and skip the next chain four space. And you wanna repeat this all the way across, then work a three double crochet cluster in the last stitch. This is what your work should look like at the end of row 25. Row 26 begins with a chain three. Turn your work. Two double crochet cluster in that first cluster stitch. Five double crochets in the next chain five space and double crochet in the next double crochet. Our repeat for this row is five double crochets in the next chain five space and double crochet in the next double crochet. You want to repeat this all the way across and then work a three double crochet cluster in the last stitch. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row 26. This completes part two for the mystery crochet along shawl pattern. And so just a quick reminder that here is what your work looked like after part one. And so if you can imagine that this is just a small section of what your work should look like at the end of part two, this piece here would be all the way across the entire mini, uh, you know, partially completed shawl here. And I have a progress photo that I'm sharing with you right now that shows you what your work would look like at the end of part two. Check back next week when we finish this beautiful shawl and I release part three of the pattern and the video tutorial. You can follow the link in the video description to download this pattern if you haven't already done so and also get information on all of my number one fingering weight yarns. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. And if you check out the video description, I've provided links for everything we talked about in this video. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.